Why hello everyone, and welcome to my sample series, where I showcase games running either on the PlayStation 4 Pro or the Xbox One X in 4K and or HDR. This week I'm doing Doom Eternal for the Xbox One X. This is a game I uh, completed, uh, was it about a month or so ago, on my daily long play. And I'm going to jump in and showcase a little bit of the campaign of this game. Starting at the beginning, I'm going to save, create a new save file here, and let's get going here. Now, this is being recorded in 4K, 60 frames a second, and in HDR, at about a bitrate of about 40 megs a second. And this is a game that has some very long levels, and unfortunately my videos are limited to about a half an hour, so it's unlikely I'm going to be able to get through the first level of this game, but we'll see how far we can get. This is more of a visual showpiece of the game. Against all the evil that hell can conjure, all the wickedness that mankind can produce, we will send unto them only you. Rip and tear until it is done. Here we go. This is a pretty good looking game. Running on the latest greatest version of Big Tech. Fall back! No! They're everywhere! Earth is pretty messed up there, as you can tell. We must pray. Pray that he is watching. Please, anyone, if you can hear me, if you're out there. Attempting to acquire the Hell Priest signal. Nearly 60% of our planet has been consumed by the invaders. We have the Hell Priest signal locked in. The target is marked, but the signal will not hold for long. For it is he that they fear, not man or his armies. They fear the mark of the beast. I have mentioned both the daily long play streams of this game as well as the recent upload 4K sample upload of uh, Doom 2016. This game does not feature the pistol with the unlimited ammunition that the previous game had. Instead, you start out with the shot. It's just a quick use item, you don't uh, equip it like you did in the first game, so it actually immediately uses it. Secret 
there. And a double jump ability. Do that gives us upgrades. Here we go. I enjoy these types of games, that doesn't make me mean I'm good at them or anything like that. And I had a lot of difficulty with this game as it is a lot harder than the first one. And by the first one I mean June 2016. So, not the first one, but the last one. Whatever. Um, it's the first Doom game that I beat, for what it's worth. See, I got more different types of ammo than just the shotgun shells out of that chainsaw. Right? But as I only have the shotgun at the moment, that's the only ammo I can actually pick up. That won't let me go above 100 health. Interesting. Stop. There's a lot of messed up visuals in this game, when you think about it. Codex entry. Just in case it wasn't obvious, I was not controlling the character at that point. The first Hell Priest has been terminated. The demonic consumption of Earth has been reduced by 36.8%. There are two Hell Priests remaining. Look at that thing. I don't think it's a spoiler to say that at some point you can have to fight that thing.
armor. See if there's anything else that I missed. Alright. Let's get going here. Time's a wasting. <laughs> I can't remember if I'm supposed to jump all the way down there or not. Looks like I am. Alright, cool. A little bit of platforming there. Alright, we gotta destroy the gun turret on those things. Then we can take them out. That's not what I want to do. Glory kill it. Jab in the eye with its own horn. That sound indicating you're low on health? I had I heard that a whole lot in this game when I played all the way through it. Eek. Too much. There's the next uh, weapon for me to get. I just need to get up there. Heavy cannon. Now the weapon mod I like using with this thing is the scope. Makes getting uh, taking out those weak spots a lot easier. At least a little easier anyway. That's what the map looks like. Very similar to the map from the previous game. I guess obviously that's secret that I did not get. This game uses a dynamic resolution. I don't think it targets a full 4K resolution either. I think it mostly targets about 1800p. It goes down from there. But I am recording this in 4K, so that's what should that's what it should be listed as in the YouTube video setting. Obviously. I imagine. This game running on a Series X when that comes out will actually run in 4K soon or put a patch out for it to put you out to support that, but I don't know. Well, maybe the game does target a native resolution of 4K, but it mostly sticks on to the 1800p. I have to rewatch that on Digital Foundry video on it to be sure. Help 
an eye on your ammo. Right in the mouth. That's gotta hurt. These guys have jetpacks. <laughs> yellow access. We need a yellow key card for that door. Remember key cards? Yeah, you do. I remember correctly, this is a part of the game where I died for the first time in my playthrough. I find myself low on health here. Ah, oh, there we go. I barely survived that. this out. Go on, left trigger, right trigger. Aim down the sight in a Doom game. Who would have thought? <laughs> this is pretty much the only weapon in the game that does that. Here's the grenade. those guys in the mouth with the grenade in order to activate their weak spot. Or you can throw a grenade and 
with one of your frag grenades in there as well. But I like using this thing. Yeah, maybe I should spend some time talking about the way this game looks. After all, that is the kind of the point of this video. Yeah, it's definitely, uh, there's a lot of detail in this game. Now, a lot of it is granted dedicated towards destroyed um, environments. Like, it's not really all that uh, unique. But still, they put a lot of effort into these destroyed environments. And they look destroyed. Highly recommend checking out the Digital Foundry technical analysis video of this game. I deal with that. Now it's running away. Great. Wait, oh yeah, just you can check out the scale of these sky of these environments. I guess most of this would qualify as a skybox, but still, some aspects of this are areas you can actually get to. I think. Wait, oh yeah, well, just look at it. It's hell on earth. That's what Doom 2 or Doom Eternal, in this case, is supposed to be, and it certainly achieves that. A whole bunch of pentagons everywhere. Pentagrams, I mean. I'm an idiot. Feel free to ignore anything I say, because I'm an idiot. Alright. Where am I going? So I do want to go this way. Here we go. During this transition, your suffering continues to inspire us. Yep. Remember those from the last game? They're here as well. Must be some strong glass if a point blank range shotgun glass can't destroy it. Take a moment to figure that out. At least it does for me, anyway. So. Probably only gonna do one video of this game this week. One thing I'm gonna find myself a little bit short of time today. But also because, um,. These things are annoying.
I think this should be, I think this should suffice to give you an idea as to what this game can look like on the Xbox One X. These things are insanely annoying. Especially when you have to deal with multiple ones of them all in a small room. One after the other. Believe me, there are sequences like that. Shotgun grenade. Get all up in this thing's face. See how they start throwing in a whole bunch of these uber enemies at once, so these bigger enemies. That's one big difference between this and June 2016. And they do that early on, too. This is still the first level. So that's a one-up, as the game calls it. What it really is is an instant respawn. grab it. There you go. Extra life acquired. Like I said, it's basically an instant respawn. And there are instances where you can actually gather a lot of them, but you can also lose them very quickly in this game. So you die very quickly. Beside you. Well, folks, I think that's going to do it for this week. Uh, I hope I've given you a taste of what this game has to offer visually. But, like, but before I go, I just want to take a moment to thank you for watching. I appreciate when people take time out of their day to watch my streams, my videos, and such. Just as a quick reminder, as I'm getting pummeled to death, I do a daily long play stream almost every day at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time from Sunday to Thursday. I, and I'm currently doing Ninja Gaiden Black for the Xbox original via the Xbox One X on, on the Xbox One X via backwards compatibility. I do a retro stream on Monday night at 8 p.m. A modern stream on Wednesday night at 11 p.m. Those are again Eastern Standard Times. In 4K and or HDR uploads on Fridays, I usually publish on Saturdays. So, like I said, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, take it easy.